Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time of day it is. I am so glad you're watching this video from Wednesday, September 16th with us now. Welcome. We're going to continue on with our A Slice of Pizza series talking about division of fractions. Um, Today is going to really compile what we did yesterday um, independently through our Florida virtual lesson um, and where we'll be headed for the rest of the week. Um, so we are going to talk about what you worked on yesterday, um, do some practice, but let's actually take a look at our agenda. So glad you're here. Let's dive on in. So our agenda for today, we're going to start with a welcoming activity. I really love this one. Um, I have done it already and I will do it again and I hope you enjoy it as well. Then we'll do a number talk with strawberries. If you've joined us on Monday virtually or during either asynchronous or synchronously, um, you we did a never talk where there were no strawberries missing. Today there will be some missing, and you're going to have to figure out how many total strawberries there are. Um, third, we will look at dividing fractions. We'll talk about it all together and review it a little bit. Um, and then we're going to dive on into what you should have worked on yesterday, a problem called divide, or dividing pizza. Uh, and we'll kind of look at it together and go through it, um, and then we'll have an exit ticket. Awesome. So without further ado, here we go. Our opening activity for today is to draw school. Um, think about what school looks like for you, either last year, right now, or in the future. Um, either when we come back in person, or when some people do, or even next year. Um, think about what school looks like. It could be the school building, it could be the classroom, it could be where you're learning, how you're learning. And then take four minutes to draw what you pictured in your mind on paper. Um, you can share it if you want to. We'd love to see it in a discussion post or in a text or email to me. I would love to see it. Um, but take four minutes, pause the video here, take four to five minutes, and draw what you picture school looking like for you. When you're done, un unpause the video, and we will move on. Awesome. I hope that you share your drawing with me. I will share my drawing with you. Um, this is it. This is me in our classroom. These are a bunch of empty desks over here on the right side where there is nobody sitting right now because everyone is working from home. Um, I'm sitting in front of a screen with my computer. So that was my drawing of what school looks like for me. And that's right now. Um, I'd love to see your drawing if you're willing to share. Awesome. There we go. So we are going to dive into our number talk for today. Um, without counting these strawberries one by one, try and figure out how many strawberries there are. They'll be on the next slide, obviously they're not here. And I would challenge you to find two or three different strategies to figure out how many strawberries there are. So here are our strawberries. Take a look, try and figure out how many there are, and then if you're willing to, share your uh, method in a comment or discussion post so you can have, so other people can see your thinking as well. Pause the video here. Once you have two to three different methods, jump back in and I'll share one of mine with yours. Sorry, share one of mine with you. Sweet, so here are our strawberries. I wanna show you my method for these. Um, so for me, I went and I, oh, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here. I counted, I saw that there were three here. And then there were five going up the side. I multiplied three times five, and I got 15. Then I saw that there were all of these over on the side. I noticed there was a group of two times three, and two times three was six. And then I saw there were three more. So I added up 15 plus six plus three, and I got 24 total strawberries. I have just about run out of space, but I found out there were 24 total strawberries. I'd love to hear your method, what you found out, how you figured out how many strawberries there were. If you're willing to share, please do it in a discussion post or comment below. I'd love to hear your thinking. There are so many different ways for this method or for this number talk. It has been awesome. Somebody told me that you could divide them or split them up diagonally. 
Then we did the whole thing minus the ones that are missing. So many cool ways. So now let's get into the bulk of our math today. Dividing fractions. All right. So this is just more review of what we did on, um, on Monday and yesterday. I have lost my mouse. Maybe it will repeat up here somewhere. Ooh. Nope, nope, there it's not there. There we go, there we go. Okay, now I found it. There we go. So I'm going to just borrow this piece of paper right here. And I'm going to zoom in down at the bottom just so we have a nice blank piece of paper. Look at that. Awesome. So when we divide fractions, there are going to be three steps. Our first step, well, let's look at a problem, actually. We'll do one half divided by, oh, we are all over the place. divided by three-fifths. Okay, so our first step is going to be keep the, oh, we're all off the board here, that's not good. Let me zoom this over just a smidge. Thanks for bearing with me here. There we go. Our first step is going to be keep the first number the same. I think I left off an E. First number. Okay, so we will keep our first number. One half will stay exactly the same. We can't change our first number, so there we go. Our second step is going to be do the opposite of multiplication. So our opposite of division, which is multiplication. So we're going to take our division sign and we are going to make it into a multiplication sign. We want to do the opposite, so we're turning our division sign into multiplication. We talked on Monday that those are the opposites. And if you think back to what we did on Monday, we had a light, we switched it on and then off, that was two things. Then we stood up and we stood sat down, that was another two things. And we realized that if you do the opposite twice, you end up back where you started. So we see our third thing that we need to do is going to be to take the opposite of our last number. So we're going to take the opposite of three-fifths. And if you remember what we thought about three-fifths, or the, taking a number and finding the opposite of it, we were flipping it upside down. So if we flip three-fifths upside down, we end up with five-thirds. Okay, so we'll have five-thirds here. Then I guess there is a fourth step, and I forgot about this. But our fourth step will be multiply. When we are multiplying fractions, we're just going to multiply straight across, up top, straight across, down at the bottom, and then that's what we get. So 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 3 is 6, so our answer for this problem is 5 6. Um, we're going to have a pretty relaxed day tomorrow, Thursday, September 17th, for your asynchronous assignments. Um, there'll be a little bit of practicing in IXL, um, but beyond that, there's not going to be any hard reading or lessons. Um, great day for practice and to ask any questions that you have. Um, but this was our remembering how we divide our fractions and why we do the opposite of division and then the opposite of that number. Because we have one opposite to go from division to multiplication, then our second number is the opposite of that fraction because two opposites gets us back to where we started. Awesome. All right, so we are going to dive into this, um, there we go, this task that we did on Tuesday for to talk about today. 
Also, you'll notice that I have to apologize here. Um, if you were searching for our code word, our secret code word, it was hidden in this document, but the correct version didn't load into Schoology. I checked myself this morning. Um, I am so sorry, so, so sorry. We'll have, we'll have some, we'll have a new one hidden on Thursday and I'll make sure that it works where it is hidden. Awesome. So looking at dividing pizzas, there are three pizzas and we want to split them among two friends. We want to split them equally. So I'm going to start by drawing three pizzas. Okay, so I have two friends who are splitting these pizzas. So I'm going to cut each of them in half. Now we have two friends here. We're going to have the blue friend and the green friend. The blue friend is going to get one slice on each pizza. And so is the red friend. One slice of each pizza. So how many total slices does the red friend have? I count one, two, three. So the red friend has three slices per person. Okay, so now I want to ask myself, the red person and the blue person each have three slices per person. Now, how many slices are there total per pizza? How many slices total per pizza? So there are two slices per pizza. Okay, so we have three slices per person and two slices in each pizza. Okay. I'm just going to draw a little fraction there. Now I'm going to ask us ourselves, how many slices? Each person gets three slices. There are two slices per each pizza. So how much does each person get? Well, they get right here three halves of a pizza. Really cool way to see this. Three halves is more than one, right? It's an improper fraction. And it means they're getting three half pizzas. So I'm going to draw our three half pizzas. We're going to cross out this question quickly. Three half pizzas. So I'm going to draw the half pizza down here. I'm going to draw the third half pizza backwards. That third half pizza that we drew, oh, you can't see it. Whoops. I'm going to draw our third half pizza over here. There we go. So we have three half pizzas. We've got one, two, and three. Now I'm going to take this third slice of the pizza. Maybe. Maybe let me do it. There we go. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. We're going to move it over here. We're going to leave it. Hopefully it's going to go up where it needs to go. And we can see, eventually, that those two pieces combine into one pizza. There we go. So now we have one pizza and an additional half. So we have three halves of a pizza. So each person is getting three slices when we cut each pizza into two slices. So they get three half pieces, sorry, three halves of a pizza each. Now, if you look at it, they get one and one half of a pizza. That's a lot of pizza. Okay. So when there are three pizzas and two friends split them evenly, each person gets three halves of a pizza. Awesome. Let's take a look now at the second question here. If eight friends split three pizzas equally, how much does each person eat? Okay, so I see we're still working with three pizzas, so I'm going to draw three pizzas. Oh, I've got to switch back to a pen here. I'm going to draw three pizzas. And then I need to ask myself, Mr. Spencer, how many slices do I have to cut each pizza into? Well, I see that there are eight friends, so I want to cut each pizza into eight slices so that each friend can have an equal number of slices per pizza. 
Okay, now each pizza is cut into eight slices. So, how many pieces are each person going to get per pizza? Well, our blue friend's going to get one over here. They're going to get one in the second slice, and they're going to get one slice in the third pizza. So we're going to ask ourselves, how many total slices does this blue person have? Well, they have three total slices per person. Slices per, oh, we just turned that into an eraser. Three slices per person. Okay. How many slices is each pizza cut into? Well, I can count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices per pizza. Now, we almost have a fraction there. All that's missing is a line. Can we put a line there? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to switch back to our blue pen here, and I'm going to move this slice of pizza right here. And I'm going to move this slice of pizza right here. You can move slices of pizza, right? If I had a box of pizza with a couple missing, I could move half of a pizza from one box to another box. Okay. So then I have to cross out those two pieces because we just moved those. Now they're no longer blue persons. So let me look. We now have one, two, three slices, and the whole is eight. So there are three parts when the whole is eight. So we remember a fraction is a part over a whole. Our part is three slices. Out of how many total slices in a pizza? Eight. So each person gets three eighths of a pizza. Oh, and I realize I'm running behind my picture here. Let me see if I can't move me up. There we go. Each person gets three-eighths of a pizza. Awesome. Well, these friends must be better than me because I would have eaten at least one whole pizza and then said you seven friends can each get a little bit. But these friends must share really well. Awesome. That is so cool. Now... If you could describe how these two scenarios, how these two parts of the problem are the same, and how are they different, I want to hear what you think in a discussion post or comment below. Tell me how they're the same and how they're different. Awesome. So we divided some fractions. We also divided up some pizza. The only thing left for us to do today is our exit ticket. And it is super simple. There are two problems on it. There is one quarter divided by two sevenths. And there is also three fifths divided by two sixths. You can submit those two exit ticket questions in a comment below or in a discussion post or a message to me. Or just really write them on a paper and think about how you got your answer. I realize I forgot to draw an equal sign right there. So tell me what those two problems are equal to. Awesome. Well, that's it, Trojans. I hope you have an awesome Wednesday. You will have some assignments tomorrow on Thursday, but they're not going to be too complicated. Um, and then I will see you back here on Friday, whether it's during our live synchronous class or this recorded after. I can't wait to see you. Have an awesome day. Bye, Trojans. Y'all are amazing.